Duncan Lang, one of New Zealand sport's most celebrated and successful coaches, has died after a long battle with cancer. The man, once described as the Arthur Lydiard of swimming, will forever be linked with his country's greatest ever swimming achievement, Daniel Loder's double gold medal winning performance at the Atlanta Olympics. Here's David DeSoma. In Dunedin today, Daniel Loder said goodbye to the coach he always referred to as Mr Lang. He is a remarkable man and uh, I don't know if it's really hit yet. Um, the emotions are just bubbling underneath the, the surface here and um, you know maybe at the memorial service that's when it's all going to come out. Forehead up, forehead down. A big likeable man, Duncan Lang, had been plagued by poor health for years. This interview six weeks ago was one of the last he ever gave. I want to be in here, but this life I suppose. Here comes Loder, Daniel Loder. He is in front and well clear. Together, Lang and Loder conquered the world, with the combination producing New Zealand swimming's finest moment by far. Double Olympic gold in the 200 and 400 freestyle at Atlanta. Duncan actually cried after Daniel's won the first medal and he just looked at me with tears in his eyes and, and it was a very, very rewarding thing to see. The pair got a stirring welcome on their return, drawing comparisons to the great Arthur Lee and Peter Snell partnership from the early 60s. Duncan Lang retired in 2006 after nearly 50 years poolside. He helped literally thousands of learn to swimmers and coached 11 Olympians. Oh, I loved every minute of it. His contribution was recognised twice in the Queen's Birthday Honours. He was also inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame. Having battled melanoma, a brain tumour and stomach cancer, Lang's health deteriorated markedly after his retirement and true to form, he was accepting of his fate. I won't be able to get rid of. It'll be there until one day, good Lord says, now it's all over. Duncan Lang was 77. David DeSoma, 3 News.